Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Anki Codeverse. Let's begin the discussion on the role and responsibilities of app delegate in iOS app development. If you have not watched my last video, please check it out first. App delegate is a custom object created at app launch time, usually by the UI application main function. It is the main entry point for your iOS app and responsible for handling state transitions with the app. It also provides the central place to manage global app setting and resources. The app delegate confirms the UI application delegate protocol which provides a number of methods that you can implement to handle specific events in your app's life cycles. App delegate lifecycle methods are application did finish launching with option. This method is called when your app has finished launching. It is a good place to initialize your app's global state and create a root view controller. Application will resign active. This method is called when your app is about to move to the background state. It is a good place to save the user data and release resources that are no longer needed. Application did become activate. This method is called when your app moves from the background state to the foreground state. It is a good place to restore any user data and resources that were released in the application will resign active method. Application will terminate. This method is called when your app is about to terminate it. It is a good place to save user data and release resources that are no longer needed. Lifecycle states are not running, inactive, active, background, suspended. Not running. This is the initial state of an app. The app has not been launched or has been terminated by the user or the system. Inactive state. In this state, when it is launched but not yet in the foreground, it may briefly transition through this state when moving from the background to the foreground. Your app may not receive events during this state but it is not suspended. Active state. The app is in the foreground and actively responding to the user input. This is where your app runs and interact with the user. Background. When the user presses the home button and switches to another app, your app enters the background state. It is still running but its priority is reduced. You can continue to execute code in the background for tasks like downloading data, updating the user location and playing audio. Suspended state. If the system needs to free up resources, it may move your app from the background state to the suspended state. In this state, your app is no longer executing code but remains in the memory. It can be quickly resumed to the background state when needed. Straight transitions are like launch not running to inactive to active minimize active to background maximize background to active and terminate active to background and not running the app delegate is a swift class that conform to the ui application delegate protocol which is a part of the ui kit framework it's typically defined to the file name app delegate dot swift App Delegate Entry Point When your iOS app is launched, the App Delegate is the first Swift class that gets executed. It contains the main Swift file which initializes the app and set up the application delegate. Customization You can customize the behavior of your app by implementing this method in the App Delegate. For example, you can handle deep linking, set up third party libraries, or manage app-wide data. 
handling push notification. If your app uses push notification, the app delegate is responsible for registering the device for remote notification and handle incoming notifications. URL handling. The app delegate can also handle custom URL scheme and deep linking. You implement the application method to the handle URL that your app is designed to the respond to. Global access. Since the app delegate is a central component, you can use it to store globally accessible data or configure dependencies that are used throughout your app. Error handling and re reporting. In case of the critical errors that might lead to app crashes, app delegate can be placed to implement crash reporting tools like Crashlytics and the Sanitary. In other words, the app delegate is the heart of your iOS app. It is responsible for managing the app's lifecycle, handling system events, and allowing you to customize the behavior of your app as it is respond to user interactions and system level changes. Understanding and effectively using the app delegate is crucial for developing robust and responsive iOS application in Swift. I hope this helped you. If you have any doubts in the comment section and don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Stay tuned for the upcoming video. Thank you.